What's up bros, now today I'm going to be showing some custom spider arms that I made for Spider-Man's integrated suit and the iron spider suit, so let's get down to business. Alright bros, now here we have the completed spider arms, so first let's take a look at the custom spider arms that I made for the integrated suit. Now as you can see here, these custom spider arms are, well, interesting to say the least. Now the ones on the top and the ones on the bottom are a bit different, and the reason why is because, well, I kind of ran out of parts so I had to make two different types of spider arms. So. We can take a look at the first version that I made right here that is used for the bottom. Very easy and simple to build. You can move them around 360, really easy to move them around. Great for displaying these arms alongside the minifigure. Then we have the ones on the top, which I gotta say aren't as good as the first ones that I made, and the only reason I made these, well this design, is because I ran out of parts. But it's not as 360 movable as the other arms, but they're unique, I guess. As you can see, you can still move them around a bit. I guess they're not bad, but they aren't exactly as good as the other ones that I just showed. Now, the reason why these spider arms are so long is because I want them to have the ability to, well, just, you know, make it so that the minifigure doesn't need to touch the ground, and Spider-Man can just use his spider arms to walk, and I use the term walk loosely. As you can see here, you can easily display them, and Spider-Man's legs aren't touching the ground, so it works out. The arms are long enough, and you're probably wondering why I made custom spider arms for the integrated suit. Well, I believe there is some concept art out there where the integrated suit was originally going to have some iron spider arms, but I guess that didn't happen. Now it's time to show the custom spider arms for the iron spider suit. Now these iron spider arms are interesting. Unlike the arms I made for the integrated suit, this time I didn't run out of parts. So all four of these arms are the same design, so all we have to do is just take a look at one of these bad boys. And as you can see here, pretty simple to build, and you can also move them around. And there's a dark blue part right here that I decided to add because why the hell not, and I didn't really want to add red for some reason, and everything else is just gold except for this black piece right here, which easily blends in with the main black back attachment piece on the back of the minifigure. And of course these iron spider arms are really long because I want the minifigure to have the ability to just use the arms and not have to walk. So as you can see here, we can just make the arms, like pull them out and make them longer. And Spider-Man, like the Spider-Man minifigure, isn't touching the ground, so that's a win. 
But anyway, that's basically it for these custom spider arms that I made for the integrated suit and the iron spider suit. I hope you bros enjoyed and feel free to use these spider arm designs for your own custom minifigures. And uh, yeah, have a great day. See you bros. Feel free to check out my other videos, all that other nonsense.